My name is Frank van der Poel. First, a little about myself. In my professional career, I have played a few years at the Rotterdam Philharmonic on first trumpet, but more than 30 years in the Marine Band of the Royal Netherlands Navy. Now I am retired from the Marine Band and working as a freelance trumpet player, a trumpet teacher and I give master classes and also trumpet lessons via Skype. Beside the trumpet method less is more I wrote, I am going to make a series of videos in which I give more explanation about the basic techniques and exercises that I use in my book. Brass musicians, especially trumpet players, often underestimate the importance of applying correct basic techniques. A structural attention to the basic techniques is requisite to ultimately develop these into natural reflexes. During these videos I will share my experience and findings. First about the title of my book, Less is More. Honestly, it's my vision on trumpet playing in just one quote. By giving less air, you become more sound. By less resistance, you get more projection. By less facial or embouchure activity, you get more ease of playing. I will further explain these three statements. By giving less air, you become more sound. Because of the design of the trumpet and the principle of the harmonics, only a limited amount of air can pass through the trumpet. Too much air leads to more resistance. So keep the amount of air to a minimum. Not only you will learn to play the trumpet very softly, which will improve the fine motor skills of your lip muscles, it will ensure a better, better relationship with your neighbors too. After a while the sound will become more powerful and the projection better if you play softly and focus on the breath support. You will get more sound with less air. I will tell you more about breath support in the next video. Now I first give an example of too much air. For this I use an ascending grammatic scale. The excess of air cannot pass through the trumpet. It only gives more resistance. And now I do the same grammatic line with less air. By giving less air but more breath support, you overcome the resistance in the trumpet. I told you I will tell you more about breath support in the next episode. Now the second statement. The second one is by less resistance in your trumpet you get more projection. In previous example I told you by giving less air but more breath support you overcome the resistance in the trumpet. But there is something else that creates resistance in this ascending line. The harmonic series plays its part. The harmonics on the trumpet. So the higher you get, the closer the harmonics are and the greater the resistance becomes. You have to understand that as soon as you blow air in the trumpet, the resistance increases. So never fight the trumpet, but let the trumpet be your best friend. Make use of the instrument. For the following example I use a whole tone scale.
Too much air leads to more resistance. So keep the amount of air to a minimum. Now the last statement. By less facial or embouchure activity, you get more ease of playing. In essence, the role of the embouchure is overrated. And I find it safe to say that less embouchure activity, counterbalanced with more breath support, will improve trumpet playing considerably. There's always an urge to put, to put too much emphasis on the role of the embouchure. A good example of this is how we tend to relax in the low register and squeeze in the high register. By not doing either, or at least trying to do it as little as possible, the action of the embouchure becomes much quieter and playing becomes easier. I give an example of less embouchure activity. For this example I am using an octatonic scale. About my motivation to write this method. First, I want to give trumpet players the right tools to use basic techniques. Further, I have tried in my method to bring two worlds together, that of the physiotherapeutical approach and that of the trumpet player itself. And at last, I want to give you a way of trumpet playing that prevents you from overloading the embouchure. About 25 years ago, I developed an injury by depriving myself of sufficient rest. Because of a structural stress or physical strain, I gradually sought for strength in numerous side tracks or pitfalls, causing me to increasing deviate from basic techniques. Eventually, after taking a recovery period of about a year, I started playing trumpet again. Throughout the years I have found that playing the trumpets is a matter of priorities. And I am convinced that the basic techniques are responsible for about 80% of one's playing. The remaining 20% is driven by embouchure, mouthpiece, study material uh, and finally the instrument you are playing on. Often, however, the opposite is applied, paying most attention to embouchure, mouthpiece and instrument. The basics are being, consciously or not, neglected. As soon as you realize that playing the trumpet actually gets easier by applying the right basic techniques, you are on the right track. The only purpose therefore should be, make playing the trumpet easier. Focus just on the basic techniques instead of the embouchure. Don't give too much air, but focus on breath support. Alright, here I would like to end this first video. In the next episode I continue with explaining the phenomenon breath support. You can visit my website to see more about my trumpet method and of course other information. Until next time.